The lower house may have finally approved President Aquino's request for special authority to address the looming power shortage in 2015. But at the Senate, the upper chamber is not in a rush to pass the measure. Sam Ramirez tells us more. There is no need to grant the president special authority to contract additional generating capacity. This is according to Senate Committee on Energy Chairman Serge Osmeña III. He made this statement after the lower house passed in third reading the resolution to accord President Aquino such authority to take into his hands how to avert a possible electricity shortage in the coming summer season in Luzon. He assured the public, we will have enough supply. There would also be a 1,600 megawatts reserves. However, Osmeña cannot say with ultimate certainty that there would be no brownouts. But if there would be, he said it might only last for about an hour or so. We won't be able to make it this year, but it's not necessary anyway. If it were necessary, we would have passed it already. We will have sufficient power to say that our reserve of 1,600 megawatts will be covered. Now, kung hindi ko may sagot ho, baka kukulangin yung 1,600, pwede ho. Osmeña, however, clarified he is inclined to give President Aquino special authority just to be sure. But he would only limit the Senate's version of the resolution to include an exemption from the Biofuels Act so that Kepco Power Plant in Ilihan, Batangas can temporarily be allowed to use pure diesel for smooth operations and to use at least half a billion worth of funds generated from the Malampaya Natural Gas Plant. Napakadumi ng biofuels that they have to clean the plant right after using the biofuel and it takes them five days to clean the plant. Sabi ko, that's five days of power generation. Ayok mo, wala yun. It would be impossible to pass the resolution before the end of the year, now that they only have a few days left before their Christmas break begins on December 20, Osmeña said. The senator also has to study the legal implications and tag price that comes along with according the president's special authority. He's looking at February of next year as the most probable time when the Senate will approve the said resolution. For the People's Television, Sam Ramirez.